Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C are frequently mentioned in the same breath, making understanding the difference between the two quite challenging for the average person. Both are hardware connection technologies, but they do function in different ways. Here's everything you need to know about USB-C, Thunderbolt 3, how they overlap, and what their specialties are. What is USB-C? USB-C is the most modern version of the USB standard. Unlike earlier USB types, such as USB-A, it has an oval shape and is very easy to connect. USB-C cables and ports are also small enough to work with smartphones and other smaller devices. You can find them on everything from a Nintendo Switch to a Samsung Galaxy smartphone. The connector itself is symmetrical, too, so unlike other USB types, you don't have to worry about how you're plugging it in. Here are two basic questions. First question is, how fast do USB-C cables transfer data? A USB-C cable's data transfer speed depends on the type of connection port. Here are two common speeds. First, if USB-C plugged into a USB 3.1 port, capable of transfer speeds up 10 gigabytes of data per second. Secondly, if USB-C plugged into a USB 3.2 port, capable of transfer speeds up to 20 gigabytes per second. And the second question is how fast do USB-C cables charge devices? By default, a USB-C cable provides 2.5 watts of power, which is the same as many USB-A cables. However, many devices use something called a power delivery protocol, which allows a USB-C cable to deliver up to 100 watts. These include many HP laptops as well as all modern smartphones made by Apple, Samsung, and Google. The speed at which a device charges with a USB-C cable ultimately depends on whether it is plugged into a USB 3.1, USB 3.2, or Thunderbolt 3 port. So, what is Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt is a relatively new technology that launched in 2011 through a development collaboration between Intel and Apple. Initially, Thunderbolt was only compatible with Apple's MacBook Pro, but Thunderbolt 3 universalized the technology and made it compatible with USB-C. What is Thunderbolt 3? Thunderbolt 3 ports look exactly the same as USB-C ports, and indeed, the connector is physically the same from a plug-in perspective. In many cases, they can do everything that a USB-C port can, except much faster. Indeed, Thunderbolt 3 is a superset of USB-C. You can plug a USB-C only device into a Thunderbolt 3 port on a computer and it'll work just fine. Thunderbolt 3 lets you transfer data at up to 40 Gbps. That's twice as fast as the 20 Gbps maximum throughput speed of the fastest USB-C ports and four times as fast as the original Thunderbolt interface. Not only can a Thunderbolt 3 port help you transfer data to and from a compliant external hard drive more quickly than a plain USB-C port, but it can also unlock additional capabilities for connecting external monitors and expansion docks. A USB-C port with support for Thunderbolt 3 means that a single cable is all you need to push power and transfer a large amount of information, such as video data for two or more 60 Hz 4K external monitors, to and from a computer. Some companies have been quick to take advantage of these capabilities. Apple was among the earliest adopters of Thunderbolt 3 for computers, and now these ports are available on all late-model Mac desktops and laptops. Video output capabilities depend on the system, but some iMacs can now support dual 6K Apple Pro Display XDR external monitors connected via Thunderbolt 3 cables. So the main question is, what's the real difference? USB-C is one of the latest USB hardware designs, a very significant upgrade for the USB port that added some important features, including the ability to, at last, connect no matter which side was up and the ability to deliver up to 100 watts of power to charge devices. It can also provide data transfer speeds up to 10 Gbps and support video for a 4K display. Although the connection does need converters to output audio data properly. Then we have Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt was a connectivity technology developed via a partnership between Intel and Apple, a combination of PCI Express, DisplayPort, and DC power technologies. This makes Thunderbolt a versatile connection option for the devices that support it, and Thunderbolt 3 is currently the fastest, most powerful version available.
As you might expect, Thunderbolt connections are frequently found on Apple products, although other brands worldwide have made use of them as well. Now comes the complicated part. The two connection technologies were separate for several years, supporting different devices for different people. However, as time passed, this became less feasible, and the two technologies started to resemble each other more. By the time the USB-C port type showed up, both technologies were similar enough that Thunderbolt was designed to connect using only USB-C ports. So we saw companies begin to add extra Thunderbolt 3 hardware to USB-C connections so that the USB-C ports could be used as Thunderbolt 3, essentially adding Thunderbolt capabilities to the new USB-C ports. Conclusion Thankfully, with the creation of USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 technology, the two are now largely interchangeable. While there are some key differences between Thunderbolt and USB-C, there's mostly good news on this front. USB-C cables are now entirely compatible with Thunderbolt ports, and USB-C ports are compatible with Thunderbolt cables. This makes it easier than ever for computer users to use the best cable they have available. And in many instances, either standard is fine. However, it's important to understand the differences between Thunderbolt and USB-C so that you can make the right purchasing decision for your needs. Thanks for making it to the end, hope you liked the video. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments. Kindly like the video and consider subscribing to The Gaming Cutter. See you in the next video.